What's up guys, 4AM Andre here, and we're checking out the Nintendo Switch update that just came out, the day one update that updates this Nintendo Switch to version 2.0, and I thought we'd do a quick tour of it. Even though there's not a ton to it, um, it does enable some features that weren't there originally. So first off, you can see that I'm actually downloading 1-2 Switch right now. So there were actually two bars before, there's only one now. One was orange, I believe that showed the download progress. I'm guessing the white bar shows the installation process. So it's already done downloading, I'm guessing, and it's just installing right now. It would try to play it. Uh, oh, it's actually still down still downloading, so maybe maybe I was wrong. I don't know what that orange bar meant. Maybe it was just for looks. <laughs> Anyways, we can cancel if we want. We won't though. So let's go ahead and click on my page up here and let's see what's going on there. There's a little notification. And we go to my friend list. Oh, we can see uh, Raw Meat Cowboy or Kevin from uh, Go Nintendo accepted my friend invite. Which by the way, you can add friend invites. Um oh it's not showing me anymore. But you can add friend invites to your friends who are on Mitomo or Mario Runs. If you've befriended people on that, it may recommend them to you right down here. This is actually where I recommended Kevin to me, so I sent them a friend invite from this. Um, for whatever reason, it's not recommending anyone else right now. Oh, probably because no one else has a Switch. <laughs> Duh. All right, so you can also search for local users. So anyone ha that has a Switch locally, you can look for um, using the same syncing thing that the gamepad did on the Wii U. You can search for players you played with. I haven't played with anyone, so there's no gonna be no one there. You can use friend codes, apparently. Who doesn't love friend codes? And then apparently you can email a friend invite, or, no, I'm sorry, you can't. This is, uh, you can just see friend invites you've sent. All right, so my download is complete for 1-2 Switch, so that's good. Um, let's see if there's anything else new here. So I got friend settings. Display online status to all my friends. Display play activity to all users. We can change that to friends, best friends, or no one. Oh, so you can, you can set best friends, apparently. Wonder how you do that. Let's see. Got my friend here. Click on him. Here we go. We can make him a. We can star him. Make him a best friend. We became friends at 3:39 a.m. Just uh, a little under 20 minutes ago. Options. Oh wow. These are all. These are all very mean. <laughs> see if we can block him if we want. So if one of your friends becomes troublesome. All right, let's see. Anything else here? Manage blocked user list. I haven't blocked anyone yet. Posting to social media. All right, I'm gonna have to leak an account real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and edit out the process here. So give me a few seconds. All right, and there we go. I just linked my uh, Twitter account. So I'll link Facebook later. I really don't care about Facebook. So so now we should be able to share pictures you take in game, um, like here right now, or in the OS. Oh, I can't take a picture, so it's okay. I've got tons we can show off. All right, we'll do that in a few moments here. Let's go ahead and check out the eShop though. That's where I downloaded one to switch from, of course. Nice little loading screen here. It's pretty pleasant. Make some nice, some soothing sounds. Alright, so there's four main sections here. Well, I guess three. There's a search. Um, there's recent releases. And we can see there's Breath of the Wild, Super Bomberman, 1-2 Switch, Shovel Knight, The Treasure Trove or Shovel Knight, Just Dance, Fast Racing RMX. Let's go back here. Snipper Clips. And I am Setsuno, is that how you say that? Um, we got Coming Soon here, with Puyo Puyo Tetris and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, hell yeah. And you can also enter a download code if you have a prepaid eShop code. So from like, I'm guessing you buy those at GameStop or something. Alright, let's go and click on a game here so you can check out how this looks. So Bomberman R is 50 bucks. We can scroll through the pictures here. Oh, we have videos as well. Of course, you gotta get that switch in there, switch down. To restore peace in the universe, now rise. All right. The eight brothers. So you can the pause it and play it. <laughs> this will have the controls. Looks like. Your, your show. Plus button. You can skip around with the D-pad and control stick. And yeah, I think that's good enough. So let's go ahead and scroll on down here. Shows you information about the game. 2.1 gigs, supports 8 players, and supports a Switch Pro controller. Cool. Um, Alright, well let's go and back out of here. And... Let's go ahead and try to do a search. Let's just see how this works. We'll search for Mario. We know there is a Mario Kart game here, so...
and it didn't find it. All right, so search <laughs> search seems to be a bit of a bust. Maybe it doesn't show upcoming releases, perhaps. Change the price range, and you can sort by a genre. Let's go racing. Yeah, nothing. Wow, that's a bit of a fail on the Switch's part. Um, yeah, so that's the eShop. It's pretty bare bones, pretty basic. Not much to it. Um, you can tell it's like you know clearly just a web browser, basically. Um, yeah, not too much to it. Uh, I, I went through the purchase, by the way, like purchasing something. It was also pretty basic. So yeah, really not too much to say there. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And I guess we'll go to our album and try sharing a picture. You can see some of my Zelda pictures there. Spoilers. Sure. We'll go editing a posting. There we go. From switch. That is the cleverness we're dealing with uh, with 4 a.m. Andre, <laughs> who also has to talk really quietly so he doesn't wake up his all his roommates. Right, so we can make the text bigger. Can change, move it around, rotate it a bit. There we go, and then we'll make a game explain blue. This hell, yeah. And now we want to share it. So this is something we couldn't do before, so we want to post it to Twitter. Hopefully this works. Come on. There we go. And you can go check that out right now. Go check out Andre Seegers on Twitter <laughs> to see my amazing post. And make sure to follow me while you're over there. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Let's yeah. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? That we go oh, there's a new news story, apparently. Yeah, so here we go. We got some new news for announcing Zelda is here. And we click start the journey, it's probably going to take us right to the, the buy page. And by the way, as you may have noticed, you have to choose a profile when you log into the eShop. Just like you do when you play a game, basically. So it's a little bit different than how most consoles handle it, where you choose your profile before doing anything. Yep, so here we are on the Zelda page. Cool. Let's see. Takes up 13 gigs. Alright. You know what Zelda is, you've seen tons of it. Then we have one, two, switch. And then we can go to its store page, and I think Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is new as well. Actually, this is... There's a bunch of these that are new, wow. Yeah, it actually added quite a bit. So basically just a bunch of ads. <laughs> oh, we got some Mario Odyssey stuff here. This is old, right? This has to be the original trailer. If it's brand new, that'd be insane. Yeah, it's an old one. Alright, so yeah, quite a bit of news to catch up on, even if it's all stuff we already know. Alright, I think that is it, guys. I think that totally wraps it up. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and of course stay tuned to Game Explain for more on the Nintendo Switch and other things gaming. Thanks for watching, and catch you later. Bye.